Hello everybody, Brad here with another fragrance review. Today I want to talk about John Varvatos Artisan. My little sample here. Got two full wearings out of this one for work. This one came out in 2009 and is classified as a citrus aromatic. Top notes of clementine, tangelo, tangerine, thyme, Spanish, marjoram, and lavender. Middle notes of orange blossom. Indian plant Maruya, combination of the jasmine and orange, and three types of ginger. And in the base, Keflod wood, Georgia wood, bell amber, and musky sapenolide. Over base notes, the uh, breakdown was 27 positives, 21 neutrals, and 5 negatives. So, sort of. Uh, more of a neutral feel for this one overall I think um, and I kinda have to agree with that myself um, as you can see from the note breakdown this is pretty much an orange dominant citrus fragrance clementine tangelo tangerine um, pretty straightforward um, I remember at uh, Mark's channel he said it kinda reminded him of uh, floor cleaner, like household cleaner, kind of see what he's talking about. I think whenever you do uh, wear a fragrance that is like a straight up lemon or straight up orange, you do make um, things a little bit risky in that regard because uh, those types of smells do sometimes remind people of household cleaning products. I remember when I tried uh, different lemon fragrances like uh, Eau Sauvage or David Off Good Life, even like a uh, low par Kenzo, um, the lemony um, scent kind of gave like sort of like a, a floor cleaner kind of a smell a lot of times. Um, and the same thing kind of happens here. Uh, I guess one nice thing about Artisan is that I don't think there's quite as many fragrances out there that do orange as opposed to lemon. But yeah, if you like straight up orange, you're going to get a lot of orange, some spice. Uh, you can see the ginger and things like that, uh, thyme, uh, some floral from the orange blossom, but not overly floral, and some woods. I think this one could be unisex. I don't really see why it wouldn't be, um, but probably better for a guy, I would think, because it does kind of have like that orange aftershave kind of a feel to it. So if you're into like the classic, you know, linear, slightly boring citrus kind of a vibe, this one's pretty safe and inoffensive. Um, not a bad choice if that's what you're looking for. Um, let me go ahead and get into some scores. Uh, the smell, I give it 7 out of 10. I didn't hate it, but uh, I could see it getting kind of boring if you're used to more complex fragrances like you know, Blood of Chanel, things like that. Uh, projection, longevity, 7 out of 10. It didn't like have a very strong scent cloud, but I would say for about three to five hours, it seemed to be pretty nice. If you're just looking for like an aftershave kind of a feel, versatility. This could probably be a signature scent, probably best for spring and summer, brighter summery days, outdoorsy um, occasions. But uh, it would probably work as an as a signature scent as well if you're looking for just something like an orange smell. So I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 for versatility, uniqueness, maybe a 6 out of 10. Um, I think uh, it probably would remind people of Clinique's Happy, which I haven't really smelled, but uh, you know, I think that one does have a lot of orange in it, um, stuff like that. A lot of body mist sprays have an orange smell, and like I said, the whole um, you know cleaner kind of a smell of that as well. So I'll give it 6 out of 10. Price point for about $55, you should be able to pick up a 100 ml tester. So I'll give it 7 out of 10 for price point. Overall, I'm going to go 7 out of 10. I probably won't be buying this one, but uh, I would say it's a rather straightforward, inoffensive, easy to wear fragrance for people that just want to smell like oranges. You know, people might say, Oh, you smell fresh and orangey. Some people might say, Oh, you smell a little bit like cleaner. Uh, it's all about perspective on this one. Uh, I think um, I'm going to pass on this one though because I was able to uh, get in on a bottle of uh, Kerosene's Santalum Slivers that uh, 
Fragrance Brothers were uh, selling off last week. Looking forward to getting that. I think that one will satisfy my need for the orange feel that uh, I'm looking for. Plus that really nice sandalwood base. A little bit more complex and uh, more my speed, I think. But this one's okay. Straight up orange, pretty much. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.